And that is today's News on 3. I'm Hilary Barry. And I'm Mike McRoberts. And now it's Campbell Live. How would you like a 30% pay rise? You might want to thank these guys. Plus the power bracelet phenomenon, scientific marble or mind game. Mazda proudly brings you Campbell Live. Kia ora everyone. At one o'clock on Saturday afternoon, father of two, Jason Palmer, and two other prison officers went to let a 21-year-old prisoner out of his Harry cell. Matthews, who's the CEO of the Department of Correction, standing by in Wellington. Thanks so much for joining us, Mr Matthews. Can I put some of this to you? This fellow was angry and he had previously, it is being claimed or alleged, made threats or abuse against the prison guard. We turn now to an event that may be, hopefully, the first domino to fall in the quest for greater pay parity with Australia. The domino fell on an oil rig off the New Plymouth coast. Believe it or not, on that oil rig, Australian workers have been earning 30% more than Kiwi workers for doing exactly the same jobs. So what of John Key's long-term goal of closing the gap by 25-25? And had he heard of this un unprecedented equal pay agreement. And the rugby ball that was and then wasn't, we'll explain. But after the break, the power bracelet phenomenon. One and a half million sold every month. Why? A happy ending for Andrea, who's worked so hard. Tomorrow night, we are in Honolulu on the trail of Mark Hodgson, having a high old time up there. That's it for tonight, though. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Ka kite and a very good evening indeed.